Okay, here we are. Go ahead. Okay, so we're going to be using Newton's Law of Cooling and this uh, remote temperature sensor to um, graph the rate of cooling on this uh, electric stove top. And Newton's Law of Cooling states that the change in temperature for an object with a different temperature than the ambient temperature is uh, proportional to that difference between uh, that object's temperature and the ambient temperature. In this case, our school's uh, home ec room. And it looks like our temperature sensor's kind of... Wigged out. Yeah, there it there goes. Go. Okay. All right, let's pull that pot off and turn the heat off and see what happens. Okay. Well, it seemed like it took a while for that electricity to stop. It is. Uh, the coil is already not... It's not glowing. Oh, push it again. Oh, this thing turned off. That's not going to be any good. Okay, so... <laughs> Note, note to self. That's kind of amazing. Should we do it for about three minutes? Okay. Yes, I think. When did we start? Did you catch that, Hunter? No. I think Chris talked for about 30 seconds. Okay. So I think it's probably been about a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's Chris, and then there's Hunter, and there's Blake. Blake, what are you doing over there? I'm trying to. I'm going to see if I can do that. Uh, our original idea. Okay. Okay. The original idea. Okay. Um. So we're just about working up on a minute here. Two minutes. What? It's rapidly cooling our, it seems to be. It'll be interesting to see if this does act like an exponential. I almost wish we had a fan blowing air over it. Well, but of, it is in ambient temperature, so. And then got an exact volume. And then just convert it. There's some convection currents. I mean, yeah, you can feel it. The radiant heat. And I did turn the, um, yeah, cause, cause the hood on. Whenever For a while. We boil, it's going yeah. you know, to be a less... Dude, you still wouldn't want your face pushed up. Keep that boiling, and then, and then. So we got about 40 more seconds. Put the beaker in the boiling water to make it, yeah, just the same temperature. Measure it out, and then, and then, and so I think instead, instead of doing. About 20 more seconds. Um, down to 300. I'll get it down to 300. Sure. Okay. Oops. I'll, I'll figure out. I'll, I'll figure out like what would be the expected boiling point with a given amount of amount of salt. I don't think a gas stove even gets that hot. No idea. You're doing an exemplary job. Thank you. I'm keeping that uh, <laughs> dot stationary. I would imagine it wouldn't. Be, it would be not an exponential, but a, a square root graph, because I mean, it would have to. I guess it would. Well, I an exponential. A negative exponential. A negative exponential yeah, because it would. It would reach that that plateau. Hmm. We didn't check the ambient yet. Why don't you quick pop over there and get the temperature of that countertop? Okay. 79. It's about, the, well, here, there, it's about the same distance away. 77, 77 degrees. Okay, let's pop back. That'll be our ambient. Okay. We should have done that at the very start. Oh, well. 370 now. Hmm. Did it like drop it all just like crazy or in the like first like the printer or in the first three minutes it went down from a thousand degrees to three hundred and fifty. Oh. Basically. It's definitely slowing down. Yeah, let's go down to three hundred now.
Okay. Wow, it went back up. That was weird. Me, kind of. Bless you. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. There we okay. go. Okay. 